Halloween is coming. But is anything scarier than Palantir? <coughs> if you're searching for a terrifying outfit this Halloween, consider a Palantir t-shirt. I'm afraid someone's gotta die now. The company claims to create data fusion platforms to help organizations analyze real-world data, but it's best known for producing code that kills. Providing data analytics and intelligence software for military and government organizations, including the CIA, which provided its initial funding. Saving lives and on occasion taking lives is super interesting, Palantir's CEO recently gushed to the New York Times. It's a jarring statement, and it's at odds with the gestalt of the wider communications industry, which has traditionally acted as a facilitator of positive societal change, selling products like switches, routers, cloud infrastructure, and 5G networks that simply carry information. Now, Palantir's products are different. They change the rules of engagement by actively facilitating state surveillance and enabling governments and military forces to automate the hunting and killing of adversaries. The dangers of weaponizing AI, automation, and analytics have been discussed for years, and there are dozens of companies working on this capability. Most of them are stalwarts of the military-industrial complex, such as Boeing, Raytheon, and Northrop Grumman. Palantir stands out partly because it has been so openly enthusiastic about its cyber kill mission, especially in Gaza, where Palantir's Gotham software is embedded in Israel's command and control systems, and its employees are embedded with the IDF, but also because its position has paid dividends, literally with its investors, who have sent the company's stock price to a new high this month, driven by revenues and publicity from conflicts in both Gaza and Ukraine. All of which presents the wider communications industry with a quandary. Every major vendor from Cisco to Ericsson to Samsung is now developing AI and related tech. Should they look to grow their businesses by selling these products for use in military applications, like Palantir does? Legally, there's nothing to stop them. But as a 30-year advocate of the telecom industry, I think that would be a travesty. Nuts! Oh, hazelnuts! Mm.